Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Makeup Monday. So today's video, oh, I think my tooth is bleeding. Anytime I take off my retainers, it bleeds because of this little thing that I've told you guys about. Anyways, I do not want to talk about that because it's seriously like been stressing my life. So welcome to Makeup Monday, you guys. Oh my goodness, as you can see, I've already started with a full face. So I wanted to go for something very bold, very out there, not out of my comfort zone because I love colorful looks, but something that I t typically don't like experiment with, which is like a three colored look so i asked my daughter to choose a picture for me on pinterest and um we went on to pinterest and we typed in like rainbow looks and she saw this one she's like mom you gotta recreate this one so this is the look that i attempted to do i mean not too bad if i do say so myself um the lips are pretty spot on as well but i had so much fun creating this look you guys it is so bright and bold i don't want to ramble on too much i hope you guys enjoyed today's video for makeup monday let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and as always if you recreate any of my looks tag me on instagram and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so you never miss any of my makeup on monday videos where we just sit down um do a little voiceover and so we get pretty detailed with the look so i hope you guys enjoy it Thank you for being here. I love you. Grab your cafecito and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by priming the lids with my Profusion Base in the color Neutral. One of my favorites now. This is the Chic Glam Be Bold B Hue color palette. So as you will see, I do end up changing to a different palette later on. But I wanted to give this a try because it was new to my collection. And it definitely disappointed me. You will see in a little bit. So this is a really beautiful palette. But the shades were just not mixing together for some reason i started with the shade life which is a red now the red wasn't deep enough for the colors that i wanted to go for but since we are doing three different colors we're going to start off with the red we're going to move on to the purple and then lastly to the blue i'm going to take the shade healing which is an orange and i should have gone with a yellow which i ended up doing that towards the very end but i'm pretty much using an orange shade to blend out the red and here you can see where i'm starting to get a little bit of like patchiness and that's sometimes due to the eyeshadows being pressed um too lightly so it causes some like issues with them just like staying in one area and not wanting to blend so we're going to move on to our third or sorry our second color which is called spirit now this is a purple and i was trying to blend them together and i was having such a hard time i had never experienced any issues with any shea glam palettes but this one definitely did it for me so i decided to switch to my Beach Cosmetics uh, palette because as you can see we were definitely getting a lot of issues. This is Chef's Kiss, one of my favorite palettes to go to when I want a colorful look. So I took the shade Wasted which is a really pretty bright purple and I just readjusted the colors and then I went with the shade Inferno which is a red and deepened up the crease where we had originally started. Now, as you can see, it's still looking a little messy and it's still looking a little bit patchy, but that's okay. We're going to fix that towards the end. Then I'm going to start with the shade Mood or end with the shade Mood, I guess I should say. This is a really, really deep royal blue. And honestly, I went in with way too much at the beginning. So this palette is definitely not one that you just want to go ham with. Like you definitely want to take your time. Um, but yeah, I went in and I applied that color towards the end, meeting it with the purple. And I'm going to wing this out. Honestly, this look was kind of like failing me at this point, but I just went with it. And then I took the shade Soft Spawn, which is a really pretty, like a sky blue color, like a baby blue. No, a sky blue color, definitely. And I used that to blend the shade Mood, which is that really deep blue. Now here, I'm just taking a big a fluffy brush and blending everything together. And then for the crease, I just took a Q-tip and micellar water and cleaned up the crease since I did want the lid to be as white as possible. I cleaned that up and then I went back with the Profusion Base in the shade Neutral and I made sure that I applied a generous amount. Tapping it onto the lid, I feel like works best for me. 
instead of dragging it on. And then I'm going to go in with a white eyeshadow. Neither of the palettes that I was using today had like a pure white. So I did have to dig into another palette, but I'm sure you guys have a white shade somewhere. So make sure you pack that onto the lid. I always go back and clean up any mess that I may have created um, as I was patting it on. And then for my liquid eyeshadow, I'm going to take this one by Juvia's Place. I actually had not used it. It is from their culture collection called Fula, and it is such a pretty eyeshadow. I was like, oh my goodness, it reflects so beautifully. It's like duochrome, so I, it just went perfect with this look and for the look that I was going for, obviously. So I just packed that all over the lid. You don't have to apply glitter, glitter glue because they will set on their own. And then I took the color showboat i wish i would have gone with a different color because it ended up looking very similar to what i already had on the outer corner so definitely go with something a little more turquoise a little more green versus this was very blue but showboat is leaning turquoise but i think the blue just made it more blue instead of more turquoise if that makes sense so now i'm going to go back into the purple and just readjust the colors making sure the crease is nice and cut right here i'm showing you that i took the shade wasted and persuasion and those are the colors that i ended up mixing to create that super deep base into the crease and just make it a little bit flawless and more with a little more depth if you will we're going to go back to the lower lash line and we're going to use exactly the same shades. So we're going to go in with Mood, Wasted, and then Inferno just to match the lower lashes to the lid. And yeah, you just want to do the same things that you did because it'll match and it'll look nice. Um, so yeah, I also applied a white eyeliner to the waterline because I didn't want to add any color. I wasn't sure if the picture that I took my inspiration from had any color to the waterline. But I just wanted to keep it like that. And then I took the 1990 lashes from my lash website. Everything is on sale right now. So if you guys want to purchase, click the link in my bio. Oh, oh my goodness. I cannot believe how long this freaking look took me. The blending, the packing, the reblending. It was intense. But I think it came out pretty cool. So shout out to my daughter for picking out this look. Um, also, I will have the lip details in the description box down below. Let me know what you guys think of today's Makeup Monday tutorial. Are you guys going to recreate it? I know this one is a little bold, a little intense, but it's really pretty. Thank goodness I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying home, so I don't have to worry about looking... A little out there if you know what I mean so that is it for me you guys thank you so much for joining me I love you all don't forget if you want to shop my lashes everything will be discounted for the entire month of July I have a link in my description box where it says shop my lashes here click on that and you can just purchase yourself some lashes um, I am wearing this style 19 and 90 for today all right you guys I am out I am hungry I'm gonna go eat I love you and until next time I will see you in my next video bye